All right, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how the heck you're supposed to dilute this stuff when you're filling up your Crest Ultrasonic Cleaner. Everybody loves the Crest Ultrasonic Cleaner. Um, it's, you know, uh, in my hands. I, I bought it just to, to shut up Lewis, who swore it was so great. And, uh, and uh, so I bought it to do experimental testing, fully expecting that I would uh, find that it really didn't matter practically for cell, cell phone boards, but it absolutely does. A sweep frequency ultrasonic cleaner is is experimentally in my hands far and away better than the standard little hundred dollar jewelry cleaner style ultrasonic uh, uh, cleaners that people are using. Those things make bubbles, but they don't change the frequency. A sweeping frequency ultrasonic cleaner does, and different components sort of oscillate at different frequencies, and that's what really sort of shakes off the corrosion. It makes a difference. You know, in my hands, I had a board that I had worked on forever through the uh, standard jewelry store cleaner, and it. Uh, it was dead, ain't never coming back, and then I, I, I got the crest, put it in there, and it came back to life. So that's enough for me. Um, so how do we use the thing? We're going to need to, um, you need to do a little, a little review of your basic metric unit conversion and stuff that you remember from good old general biology that I used to teach. Um, so, so how do you do that? We're going to take advantage of one really easy and fantastic fact, which is why uh, all the smart people in the world use the metric system, and that is that this. Let's look at the screen here. One milliliter of water. So one milliliter of water equals, if we were to actually dispense a milliliter of water, you know, and weigh it on a kitchen scale in grams, how much would it weigh? And the answer is exactly one gram, 1.0 grams. So that's not random. You know, the entire metric system is set up based on that fact. So that's pretty cool because it also means that, you know, a thousand milliliters of water is going to weigh 1,000 grams or one kilogram. Kilobases. I'm still still love DNA at heart. Uh, so you know. So from there, it, it makes it easy for us to figure out a three percent solution of Branson EC, which is what it says is the optimal concentration for cleaning electronics on the back of the bottle. So for your Crest or for your um, uh, ultrasonic cleaner, Branson or whatever sweep frequency uh, brand you're using, you too can figure out how to make this exact three percent solution without having to go down to the meth house and steal a bunch of graduated cylinders. All you need is the scale that you're probably already using for, you know, mailing stuff and or your kitchen scale or or um or whatever you're doing. So, here's the deal. Let's say that we wanted to fill up a crest that was um let's say that it was uh a one um one gallon size. So we needed to create a gallon of a 3% solution. We could fill up a gallon of water or a gallon of distilled water, and then we could add in enough of the Branson EC to, to dilute that to a 3% solution. But by doing that, we've actually increased the total volume, right? So let's say it's 100 milliliters of Branson EC we need to add to the gallon, for example. Then you actually have more than a gallon, so now it's not really 3% anymore. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, sort of uh, experimentally create a 3% solution using our kitchen scale. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, if we want to end up with a one gallon of a 3% solution of Branson EC, then how much Branson do we need? And so the, the answer is going to be 3% of one gallon. But let's stick to milliliters because milliliters equals grams. So let's go to um, a, a simple uh, metric unit conversion calculator and just say, hey, how do I convert gallons to milliliters? And it says that we can, um, we can convert one gallon to 3,785 milliliters. So let's go back here and... One gallon equals three seven eight five milliliters. 
So 3% of 3785 milliliters equals, and we can just use a little calculator to figure out that 3785 times 0.03 is 113, which will round up to 114 milliliters. So, 114 milliliters of Branson is roughly equal to 114 grams, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take the vessel, and you only have to do this one time. Use whatever vessel you're going to be doing this stuff in regularly, and then just sort of make markings on it so that you know for next time. All right, so we're going to grab your kitchen scale, and you're going to, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take away the actual weight of the vessel. So turn it on, and then you're going to zero it out to equal zero grams with the thing sitting on it. All right, now we can measure. We need to come up with 114 grams, a.k.a. 114 milliliters exact, of Branson EC, and that will end up being the 3% that we need and our, ultimately our one gallon. So I can uh, just sort of watch the scale, and as it gets close, sort of slow down. If I wanted to be super exact, I could get us, you know, like a, a dropper and sort of do this really slow here at the end, but I'm less worried about that. Okay, 114. So we've got 114 grams, which is 114 milliliters of Branson EC. Now all we need to do is bring up the volume to equal one gallon, a.k.a. 3785 milliliters, aka 3785 grams, aka 3.87 kilograms. Okay, so now I can take um, my distilled water and I can use that to raise the volume up, just paying attention to my scale until it says 3,875 grams. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make a marking on here for next time. And it's going to say 114 grams Branson EC. Now next time I just have to fill it up to the line as long as I keep this uh, vessel around. And then uh, from here, I'm going to fill this up to distill with distilled water. I actually just made some for my crest, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this back and not waste it. Um, but that's the plan. You would, you would just pay attention to your scale, and you would add distilled water until you get to 3875, milligr 3875 grams on the scale. It might kick over to kilograms, where it would say 3.87 kilograms, and then you're done. Then you have exactly one gallon that has exactly 3% Branson EC, and that's really the best way to do that. And if you don't have a crest yet, you're going to be, um, you, you might be excited to know today is July 1st, 2015, and I have a feeling that coming in the next few weeks that, that there's going to be a giveaway on the iFixit Pro Talk boards. Um, uh, maybe, maybe not, but I kind of have a feeling that they're going to give one away. So that's going to be really cool. So look for that. If you haven't signed up for Pro Talk for my Fix It, you know, go go do that. It's a it's a great forum where um, where lots of pros are sharing information, and you might win a crest. They're expensive, so it's definitely a good a good way to get one. And that's how you would fill it up. Now I'm going to go back to cleaning these boards.